the various cats. Oh, we're up to 42 rats, by the way. So that's the thing that's happening. Soon we'll cap at 100 rats. So that'd be kind of cool. Because, um, by the look of it... Uh, no, we might have a few less because I'm missing, like, four... Four or eleven... Um... Some of the early 20s. We might only have about 20-odd rats. 25 rats, give or take. But yeah, eventually we'll get to 100 rats. Eventually a 100th rat will be born. But yeah, we're, um... Oh, uh, you're idle again. What can I get you to do? What do you do? You do artistic. Mate, have I got a bench for you? It's not made yet, but when we get there... What do I need? I need wood. Sasha's hiding in a room. Everybody's friends of Buffalo. Mate, I kind of wish I'd gotten to know Buffalo a bit better. <laughs> because, like, everybody in my colony really, really misses him. Um, I... I can't believe they're all friends cheese. with him. Bubba. I have cheese now. I'm gonna hide in... And there's something in the door again, too. Can you hold that? And can you do... Yeah, you can do plants. So afterwards... Uh, hold on. Wrong button. I get you to do that. Then afterwards I'll get you to do the trees. And I think the problem is that the wood is going on the beds. But I need wood for the benches. So I need to cut down a few more trees than that. I will hydrate, Bubba. Thank you. Hold on. Hopefully that helps a bit. I like cough every now and then. But you know. Like, sometimes I just don't know that it's going to happen. It, like, just comes out of nowhere as I'm, like, in the process of saying something. And then I'm like, oh, God. Oxygen. Let's get you to cut all of these. I know you're pretty stressed, so I won't get you cut too many. I wonder if I slept in the heat. Mate. Did you, though? Because, like, we're working on that actively. Also, they brought the TV up. Why is it green? Hell? Maybe it's on a tiny table or something. It looks like it. This is. I have three different TVs. I have a flat screen, a mega screen, and I've got like tube TVs. But they have TVs. They have various quality TVs that they can sit down and watch. Like Whoops is actively watching TVs, and so is Bowman. And I think Falcon? Yeah. Good. They have entertainment. So. I just need to like double down on the amount of entertainment that they've got. Also, I see those benches got moved. So, yeah, there we go. Simple meals, vegetarian, carnivore. I don't have, I sort of do, but I don't have enough steel for that. Yeah, this is the other one that got moved. All right, I can move these over a little bit more. This will take like forever and a day, but when they do eventually move these over, fine. That'd be great. I can't move those ones yet. So I'll focus on... If I get rid of this one that's like partially built, get the component back out of that. And I'll just build a copy where I want it to be. Because it's going to be like, well, I don't actually want that to be right there. I want that to be indented. Oh, it's interesting though. This kitchen layout is similar, but definitely not the same as one that I've used in the past. So, even though I've got less rooms of it, like, I've still got the potential to add in another room if I really need it. Or, ultimately, if I want to, I can pop an extra room up here and, like, tunnel it in sideways or whatever. You know? So, I should be able to get enough people working on it. Because I'm pretty sure, once I move that down, I'm not going to fit a bench sideways that's going to block the door for obvious reasons. But if I wanted to, I could put another couple of benches just like in here or something. Or I could put one extra bench in every single room at the end here and it would be fine. Like my people would have so many benches to work out. I'm not that worried about it. Who's starving? Is it somebody consuming berries? Were you wandering? No, I was getting you to help me with the trees before. That's why. All right, you're tired. Brother's tired. Heat stroke. Who's heat stroking? Half my colony. Well, sorry. That's like one quarter of my colony. I like really extremed that for a second. I'm like, it's only about like a dozen people. So it's what? 41 degrees outside. Holy shit. It's not even a heat wave. I guess this is summer. Welcome to summer. Um, 
yeah, that's fine. I've got passive coolers everywhere, more or less, but I don't have a lot of spare wood. So what I'm going to do, I guess, is that meat? No, it wasn't. What I should do, a lot of these grow rooms, first up, first things first, is let's make sure all of my grow rooms are active. Is that all of them? Yes. First things first is you guys go ham planting because I disabled some of them. Um, this one's been recently replanted. They've all been basically like replanted. My ratio of like I'm going to have a lot of berries versus like rice and potatoes. But I've got like 20,000 potatoes and I've got 16, no, 20,000 rice and 16,000 uh, potatoes. And we've still got like 22,000 berries. So we're doing all right for food at the moment if my grow rooms inside keep going I'd like them to keep working on slate stuff down here I might be able to say go for it I don't have the metal for the vents in here so these are going to be open that's okay I've got chocolate we've got cotton um we've got heel root this is devil strand it's going to take like forever and a day I don't think this is sealed no it's not sealed yet so eventually when it seals up I'm gonna need the electricity so what I'm gonna do I can't make it yet but when I can later I'll connect it up um, I want a hidden conduit for this because like if I take that straight across the good chance it might blow up there I don't really want that but at the same time you know the path of least resistance kind of thing. The odds of that thing blowing up is probably far less than the odds of that blowing up. I get a lot of attack things down here because I previously did not have all these defense and I do now. Um, we uh, made some changes. So I'm expecting since I don't have turrets down here and I don't think I've got them up the top of my base. No, I got them up the top. So I should start getting attacks down the bottom or in the top corner where I'm not powered. This is kind of how RimWorld tries to like slice and dice it, you know? Um, but yeah, if I continue to add like another room to this, I don't know if I should add it upwards by one. Maybe. Try not that much. The boom rate has, uh, boom rats rotted away in storage, that's fine. If I took it up to here, there would be one extra room. But... Like, yes, it would definitely be, like, the space of another room. But then I have this, like, skinny-ass corridor. I would be better off just bringing that down. Which I could probably do from, like, here. I could probably do that. Bring it over by one and then... Like, it just means that this little patch in behind here is not accessible. And it also increases my odds of getting an attack here. Because it's a uh, really hard-to-get area. It also means that... Like with over here, I would have a very large area cut off. What I could do, actually, there's a thought, is like what I've got with the other one is the tunnel, because this is by two. Where is it not being stored at temperature? This isn't getting up to right, hang 10. Let's get this all down to minus 50-ish. Like some of them are not powered. That's half my problem. All right, I need... Can I just move these? It's all... You guys aren't supposed to be building those ones. Not yet. Not yet you aren't. I've got two spare ones that I could probably move over. I kind of... Oh, these ones are fueled. Okay, so this room would be like a half fueled, half electric. Interesting. I didn't realize that they were fueling my stations. That explains for a little bit of my electricity and my steel has gone. Right, I can move these. Move these over by one. Once these have moved, like this, I can then move these. I don't want to enable a single other, like, stove, you know, the fueled ones, until I have spare wood in my base. If you guys used it on that, did the benches get built? Of course they did not. They only need 75 fucking wood. That one doesn't even need that much. Um, Paddy, are you going to bed? You're going hoopstone... Uh, instead of building that bed, mate, how do you feel about, yeah, yeah, go build that, 
Let's double stack you on that so you go and get the wood for it too when you're done. Oh, fuck, did I click then? What is that? Is that Z or X? Oh, it's Z. Okay. Oh, shit, I can... You guys can't see it because it's behind my ass, but I can, like, search for people. Huh. <laughs> I was literally saying this last night. I'm like, there's a search feature I don't know how to activate because I keep doing it by accident. And then, um... I, I didn't know if there was a way for me to look for specific people. Also, by the way, I did confirm that Linda is actually dead. She died, like, last week. So, yeah. That is something that happened. Because I was looking for Linda last night, and I'm like, no, she's dead. So, yeah. Um, what I could do... Because I was going to put all of, like, my other storage here. The, the main thing was, like, I want to slow down my people a little bit with production. I know that that sounds really counterproductive, but I want them to they take a little bit of time and have an extra person hop onto a machine so then somebody can go and do something else. Because otherwise my people lock onto like one machine at a time and then never go and have a break. So at the moment I can't do anything about this not freezing enough. Is this room cold? It's 24 degrees indoors. That one's not powered. This one's up and running now. Let's get this down. Are they all 19? They're 20. All right, take that down by one more. So it normally goes to whichever one's the highest temperature in the room. So this should start coming down. It's going up-ish. 23. Now it's on 24 before. So we'll see how that goes. And this one's 22. Let's check all these. These are all chilled. This area should start being cool. It's cool. It's refrigerated. These are definitely like frozen. It would not do me much benefit to move them, but I could move them into one area and depower an area. But it takes so much resources, people, to like move things over. But I am losing resources by comparison. May I? You can make that meal, but whoever's working on this one has to stop. Okay. These, I don't need them. I might need them somewhere else, but I'm going to deconstruct them. The chairs, though. I'm just going to use them for the wood for the moment. I need chairs later, but that's something I'll get to later. This can go... Uh, you might need these later, but I'll put down a fresh one wherever I want it to be later, so that'll be fine. I love that this is such a fucking mixed bag in here. Like, this gross space... I think it's got like four, maybe, no, I think it's got six, maybe seven, seven in this one room. It's terrible. I, I feel like I just gave somebody cancer looking at that. I'm sorry if I did, like, I can, I hope the best for you. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I can, you can't unsee what that was, all right? You just can't unsee it. They do have a lot of heel root over here, though. I might get them to do, like, a sweep at the base. And I don't always get over here as well. There we go. Our sex and eight have uh, sufficiently... I was all sufficiently grown plants. That's fine. We're working on it. So, at the moment, I don't have any steel. The only thing I could do is, like, call for a trader and be like, hey, can you give me steel? But at this point, I actually need to, like give them gifts but I don't really have I don't have spare shit so I kind of need animals I need trees like I if I could sit here with like a few people and I might actually do that I might just wipe out my entire map of trees for like a couple of minutes <laughs> deforestation here at a, like real extreme here on Asura <laughs> You, uh, have premium levels of deforestation. Uh, yeah. Look, at least it's a game. Uh, you're gonna consume berries. I'm looking for night owls that are, like, potentially out here. You're hauling stuff to shelves. I don't want to pick anybody that's going to want to sleep. And I, it's always a fucking difficult thing, because I need to find somebody that wants to be out here chopping down trees. What I could do is I can generally rely on a couple of my extreme night owls, like Lincoln. I don't know who's shooting. I guess somebody's shooting at something. If I can find Lincoln around the map, I could guarantee he's a night owl. Um, I 
think seahorse it's either sil seahorse or silverware one of them is a night owl because i quite like night owls so i've got quite a lot of them in my base but i can generally trust my original 20 odd like you're a night owl you're going to consume pemmican okay you can't really do much with plants you might be a bit slow with that but if I sat her around and I made her go and cut down a shit ton of plants, she would suddenly be able to go and do that. Um, like she's able to do really good social and really good animals. Corpse is having experienced inspiration, serious pain. I'll leave her alone because she's going to probably, like she's not going to work with animals at night though. Yeah, actually, you know what? Labia, guess what you're about to get? Let's find you in here because I'm about to increase your abilities if I can find you. I'm pretty sure I saw her a moment ago. Um, uh, Flanger. Where you at, Lavia? Lorena, Laws, Lima, there she is. Okay, so you've got a little bit of ability to do growing and plant cutting. How about after you have your snack, where are you? There. Okay, after you have your dinner, I'm going to send you out here and um, you're going to be out here for a while. I'm going to get you some levels towards um, plants because it's great that she can do animals and shit, but a lot of the animals are asleep at night so she's only really getting like a little bit of taming before night and a little bit of taming like in the morning I'm sure of it like her skills are really high so she must be doing stuff but I think I can steal her for one night and maybe give her a few extra skills because if I just leave her on a little cluster of trees it's going to take her forever by the way so I don't want to overload her this little section here should be enough to maybe give her a level. I'd love for her to go in here, but I need somebody that can actually do gardening overnight. Lincoln's like a cook, so I'm not expecting him to be useful overnight, but if I could find one of the like seahorse or silverwares or something like that. There's silverware. What are you doing? You're a night owl and you do construction, but you can't do the rest of it. That's fine. I'll leave you be. That'll be one of them. There's seahorse. You also can't do plants. That's interesting. Um, I guess I've focused on like animals and social and stuff. Her social's good though. Her construction's really great. I love that everybody's getting their construction up at the moment. You can't do plants. You kind of can. A little bit. You can do construction really good. I wonder how you feel about potentially. I bet you can do some level of plants. Actually, you're down the bottom. Let's use you where you are. Let's use you to the maximum effect where you are. Because if I send her up the top, we've got to wait. We've got to wait for her to walk all the way up to the top of the base and then start doing stuff. Whereas she's right here. I think she's working on a wall. So she might go get resources, but that's like the least of our concern. She can hit up a couple of trees. Because the more spare wood I have around the base, then I can get fueled stoves active. And then I can have shit to barter. Like, I'm always going to probably need some level of wood. And it looks like it's nearly morning too. So I don't want to pull another night owl out of what they're doing. You're going to rest. Anybody that's going down that side is resting. Uh, you're an undergrounder. You can't do stuff. You're not going to enjoy being outside. And you can do plants. Good old Amia. And she's happy. Holy shit. Somebody in my base is happy. You saw it right here. Amir is happy. I have one happy colonist <laughs> out of like 240 something. You can't do plants. Let's fix that. No, come back. Uh, I know you're coming down here anyway. Where did there you go? No, 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 not the benches, Amir. All right. Last I saw, she would have been near the top, but when the game scrambled everybody, I can't guarantee where she is. Oh, she's still near the top. Tofu and Jet and Army are seahorse. It's like every second, almost every second one. Okay, let's say you can do plants now. I guess plant cutting would be trees. So let's say you can do it on a level three. I don't really want to 
There we go. I figured if I clicked on something, the screen would go away. But yeah, she was kind of down near the bottom of the base. So let's get her started on this. She's not a night owl and it's coming into morning. So she should be fine. The other couple might be a little bit upset. Um, but I'm pretty sure I don't have this area set up by the other one. I don't think she was like a super high level plant cutter. But like plant cutting is plant cutting. I'll leave that like little patch there. And... It would be great if somebody could like collect the chocolate. Mostly because I'd like to see my people have like the one and only thing that they're allowed to recreationally fucking have in my base. Which is chocolate. It's like... It's either go play a game or you can have chocolate. And we almost never have chocolate, so... Yeah, the fact that this is a thing. I would have liked to enclose this in a space. Like, um... I would have liked to have been able to do that, but the buildable area... I was to grab, like, a wall or something like that and copy that. You'll see what I mean. I can only build it there, so I could have only extended this by that much. And it probably would be worth it to have, like, that little nub of an extra area because of, like, how fertile that area is. But... I have a lot of grow rooms, so I should be okay. And I can probably change this over to something more. I'm going to change it over to rice, because if somebody takes the time to come down here and plant it out, rice will grow faster, and I'll have a higher chance of probably harvesting it before it gets eaten up and stuff, you know? Um, everybody's up and about for the morning. I guess I've got to go find somebody near the top of the base and see if I can get somebody to cut down some more trees. I don't know if you guys are doing building. No, you're just hanging out with that. What are you doing? Tro, can you, you can do plants. Cool, so let's get you up here, I guess. Um, get you harvesting all the trees up here. Because once I've done like these four areas, I should have enough, hopefully, to build all the beds that have been broken by my people. Maybe any doors that need fixing, if there are any. And hopefully my stoves can be re, um, refueled. Hopefully. But yeah, generally speaking, I'll let you do those ones. That should be enough. I wanted to do more, but I accidentally clicked off them. It's fine. 37 people have tattered apparel because we haven't had a single animal really walk in that I can like make clothes out of. The clothes that we do have, probably not great quality. Uh, I would like to put those somewhere. I was going to put them in with the kitchen, I think. They've already got lights. Yeah, I guess I could put them up in here. I don't have like a specific style to this well. I don't have a specific like layout for the kitchen lighting yet realistically but yeah if I can pop a couple of these up on the wall and get some light in here I should have less people complaining that oh it's dark you know that should help a little bit I'll grab some more lights I know it's in the right spot grab another one to pop there somebody's got Valeria uh McPherson it's one of my medics fucking has malaria because of course um get all this Set up here. There you go. That's not going to be enough lights, but for the, like the little like electricity that I've got, it might be enough. These are getting cool. These are what temperature are we looking at? Ten degrees, eleven degrees. If I could get you guys to make this colder, thirty. The other ones are running at fifty. Let's put them down to forty and see if we can get this actually cold. How would the uh, they're chilled? Okay, so that would be. Fresh, unrefrigerated. Okay. But once this gets cold, like really cold, like freezer, that should end up being refrigerated. The only problem I'm going to have is hypothermia in winter. But at the moment, I'm trying to double cool them down because then that will cool that. And then eventually I'll have this as storage as well. But um, this needs to move. This one can move. Oh, man. We'll get these moved over soon. I probably could have kept more benches, but at the time we needed steel for other stuff, so that's why we got rid of them instead. But yeah, pop these up in the corner. That should do 
which are, I'm not making kibble at the moment. I will add kibble to this one. I'm just not going to allow them to make it yet. Because what happens is my people will make kibble forever and a day. And then they'll eat it. Um, instead of like taking the meat and going and making something actually good. So then my people are like, oh god, I ate kibble. Woe is me, I'm going to just like tear up the place. And I'm like, get out. Leave. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just try to like minimize the chances of doing that. That doesn't look like that has a roof either. Yeah, it reckons it does. Maybe it's just how it's lit up. It's really weird. I might just um see about it says it's got roofs. I'm guessing maybe they haven't finished that one. Or oh it's a grow room. I was gonna say I'm like, what the fuck is this weird ass shadow? It's fine. I also need to get rid of, I guess the problem with that is that it's interconnecting up to that edge and I don't want them to be connected but I need it to be at least, <laughs> as weird as it is for the moment that will do. It, it connects it, they might plant it, it's rice, this whole bottom area should be, both of these are rice because like rice grows really quickly. So I can generally get a lot of it, but potatoes and other stuff, like I'd like to, I think I had corn growing up here, like what is this, it's got hay grass, okay I need hay grass for the mats in the animal area down here, but we've already done mats, so I don't need any more, extra matting, just a little bit more, okay I could probably get that out of what's already grown. I know that when you go on caravans, it's like, oh, you need hay grass for your animals. And all I find is my animals don't eat it and I come back with it. And people don't want to buy it. And I just don't understand why I'm taking it with me. Because the animals don't eat it, the people don't eat it, traders don't want it. It's like, it's almost as if the game wants me to take it with me so I can dump it somewhere. I kind of want to make a second corn patch. I guess inside would be good for that. This is all potatoes at the moment, but yeah, I can probably replant as potatoes. So potato and two sets of corn, and I've got rice field, which I can't, rice and strawberries, more rice, um, double strand, chocolate, cotton. I don't really need a lot of cotton. I was going to do carpet, but I think... Carpet can go away. I don't need more rice. I could probably do with more potato. Um, like indoor potato rooms would probably be a good idea. Ideally, I'd like to have like a lot of corn around the place, but corn takes a long time to grow. So it kind of is a bit better off indoors. I do want one indoor heel root, like grow area, dedicated grow area. So we always have production of like medical stuff. So we've only got like 384. Um, medical stuff at the moment and that's not a lot. How are you doing? You're stressed. You're probably going to get too stressed out before you finish that. They look like they built some of that already. How are we going? Food binge lange. Slept in the heat. Uh, we are working on, we haven't built any of it yet, but what I did realize, I got distracted with other shit before, but what I was going to do because I don't know if I can build this all the way down to here. But if I could build a corridor here. And if it could get to potentially up to here. It might not. But I'll see. Because I, I think I can fit a extra room in here. With these lines going all the way up to the top. So this would give me 10 rooms across not entirely 10. I guess I could probably make like a couple of extras or something. All right, where are you? Recreation deprived. You're not in a bad spot, honestly. You're just like, weeks is gonna fuck you up. Just a heads up with that. Like Cat's gonna do it anyway, but weeks is right there. I trust the weeks ability to brain somebody with a gun butt. Don't shoot him. I'm watching you weeks. All right, it's fine. Fuck no. My people, ready to do that on a drop of the hat. How's Ellie now? Ellie, let's step you back one. What's up, Phoenix? What are you doing? What are you, what are you peeking at me? 
Yeah. You, you coming up? All right. He's very excited. He had a little bit of lamb earlier. And so did I. So, <laughs> yeah. I understand his excitement. I feel very heavy from it. Um, but Phoenix, I used to eat lamb and pork a very long time ago, like all the time as like my primary choice of meat. And obviously like when I got sick of Crohn's and I couldn't eat meat and shit anymore, um, obviously Phoenix hasn't had 